Welcome to the Data Driven Carcast episode 103. And also, welcome to August 2021. Today is August 1st. Can you believe it? It was just a few weeks ago that I was telling you that July 2nd was the official midpoint. I was asking you, are you getting your mid year reviews in place? Are you getting your first half retrospective? in place so you can measure yourself against your goal. In fact, in order to help you out with that, I just published uh, my monthly Forbes column with tons of resources and people you should follow in order to benchmark how are you doing against your data goals. In this piece, I talk, of course, about the Cube. We've talked about them before, but this is a great program to follow to uh, keep tabs on, on trends that are shaping the enterprise technology landscape. I give you some great research from Matt Turk. If you don't know him, the author of The Data Landscape, he's working on the next version and we should know about this in a few weeks, but he's got great, great articles for you to go and check out. Tomas from Redpoint and his great analysis on IPOs and Jill from Capital G, who just published results on her CDO perspectives, chief data officers. If you're one of them, you're gonna wanna uh, listen to what Jill has to say. Now, why did I pick venture capitalists uh, for these updates it's simply because they are amazing at picking up patterns and industry trends and they spend a lot of time analyzing the market and coming out with trends or insights that are often overlooked. So for instance, in 2021 so far, we have experienced a growth of 405% year over year of IPO volumes. Now you're probably thinking that's because last year was a slow year, but that's not true. In 2020, we had 400 IPOs despite the pandemic. It was a record number over the last 20 years. The last time we saw such volume was in the year 2000. So if you're in the data world, you know what I'm talking about because in our industry, we saw quite a few IPOs in the last nine months. Regardless, take a look at the piece. Let me know what you think about it. I also wanna know who your go-to people and your go-to resources are to establish how you're doing against your data goals. Uh, to help us, all of us here, make sense of the data market. That's actually the title of the Forbes piece. Now, this week, we also learned from amazing leaders, Chris from Albison, Gibelto from Macy's, Michelle from Ultra Beauty, Joe from Crate and Barrel, um, BK from American Eagles, uh, Kirti from Procter & Gamble, and Thomas from L'Oreal. Now, why am I giving you these names? Because they participated in an industry summit focused on sharing best practices on data analytics and, and AI, and the sessions were great. In my blog down here, I highlight the session of IKEA. Now, all the sessions are great. I just wanted you guys to know about the story of Albert, their head of engineering, because using artificial intelligence, he was able to increase the number of relevant recommendations displayed on the page by 400%, 400%. So he's got a lot that he can share with you and hopefully you can connect with him and you enjoy his presentation. Uh, we also learned from Live Ramp this week, Sagar, their director of engineering, shares in a great post uh, how his company modernizes data analytics infrastructure, the simplified operations, they're able to lower the cost of support and infrastructure, they're enabling their customers to connect control, activate customer data safely and securely. It's a great piece because he describes, I think, how he solved for a problem that we all are trying to find a solution for, which is enabling data teams to spend more of their time on adding features, driving activities that drive value, rather than spending time figuring out how to run workloads uh, on cloud infrastructure. So he started this initiative called Data Operations in the blog. He details how he did it, the technology and, and the open source technologies he's picked. It's a great story. In fact, you know, it's, it's kind of a trend that I'm noticing as I'm talking to more and more customers this week. I talked to Kevin from Amway. He's actually my customer of the week. He's a trifecta legend. And we talked about the accelerating pace of innovation, the choices he's made in order to have a distributed data strategy. Uh, great conversation for me. You'll find out more about it very soon. But in the meantime, I wanna make sure that you connect with him. I'm gonna put his name down here so you know who he is. Now, speaking of LinkedIn and LinkedIn resources, I also wanna extend a special shout out to two great leaders in the industry who are doing a lot of work to make sure that we learn from each other. I don't know if you remember, but a few weeks ago, I was telling you about a very popular LinkedIn post, or poll actually, the survey asking you about data professions. Now the question is very simple. What is the hottest job in the data world in three to five years? Is it the data scientist? Is it the data analyst? Is it the data engineer? Lots of people participated. 
they were over 8,000 votes and the survey actually closed yesterday so now we know the result and the winner is the data engineering profession you guys think that the data engineering job not the data scientist job will be the hottest one in the next five years so now what's interesting is now that we know that Revit and Benjamin who's also known as the Seattle uh, data guy created a resource for you it's this cheat sheet here I don't know if you can see it it's a great resource that's going to help you figure out how you also can be a data engineer. And so there are great things in this nice kind of little uh, infographic or, or, or roadmap, they call it. You'll see uh, resources on how to build your first project, coding basics like SQL and Python, where to learn about Airflow and Spark. Anyway, it's a great initiative, Revit and, ben and Benjamin. Thank you so much for doing that. I hope lots and lots of people are going to follow you and uh, let you know what to think about these resources. Make sure to comment and let us know what you think about all of this. And I will see you next week.